Hello and welcome to Salvation Project. Uh, very simple title screen here. I think it's about a kid's show or something. Like, I think I've seen a puppet in pages of this, but I actually don't know what I'm getting into, so... Start! Show me what you got, Salvation Project. Oh, hi, Kermit! <laughs> what? Ladies hi. and gentlemen, welcome! My name is Seth. And today's public service announcement is dedicated to your fears. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're very touched. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. So is this like a Christian local network show? And what fear are we going to be discussing today? I don't know. You tell me. Spiders, the nuclear war, or Satanism? <laughs> what? Um... I mean, I'm not afraid of spiders. Satanism is whatever. A nuclear war, I guess. That's right. Satanism. Oh, okay. Well, I don't get a choice. Satanism is a great danger to our citizens, and we all should be on our toes. It's a danger to our souls, to our world, and our way of living. Oh God. And this danger strikes where it hurts most, our children. But of course, we have to use the uh, think of the children narrative. To make sure your kids are safe, you should locate the satanic objects in your household before it's too late. Like what? The typical satanic object includes satanic audio tapes, satanic posters, or satanic books. I love that you're not defining what makes either of these satanic. Beware, these can be hidden in plain sight. Uh-huh. And on that, we wish your family luck in searching and destroying the threats inside your home. Be careful. Because if you don't care, they will. This has been a oh, I don't think programs like these are particularly project. famous for caring about Until people. Time, Seth out. <laughs> well, that was fucking strange. Alright, I guess we're scouring the home for satanic objects? Is that... Is that the goal? Oh, of course. Karen. This does raise a concern. I think I saw something that could be satanic in my son's room upstairs. I have to investigate immediately. I love that this is being told in a video game, by the way. Ew. 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 I hate this slightly too realistic hand that pops up. That's gross. Alright. Let's look around. This is a dark and dreary house. Jesus. There's a lighter here. Don't know why. Oh. I'm not the best at keeping house, but this could definitely use a cleaning. That's a... Is that supposed to be the family phone? Wait, no. What the hell is that? I mean, that looks like a rotary phone, but it's so tiny. Alright, maybe I'm just an idiot. That's certainly possible. Well, I guess we should go to my son's room and check for satanic things. And I believe she said that was upstairs, so that's not this way. Alright, Karen. Let's go through your son's things. Because uh, being a good Christian means not remotely respecting your children. Apparently. What the hell is this? Oh. <gasps> no! Mentalica! No! This is clearly satanic. This is a Mentalica poster. What a terrifying poster. I'd better take it down. Now, there are two more satanic objects to find. <laughs> Why not the entire computer, which looks more like a coffee machine? <laughs> Alright. Mention something about satanic books and- oh. This is a Mentalica audio tape. Sure does look satanic. It's definitely dangerous. Now, there's one more satanic object to find. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, this is a real satanic bed. Oof, this kid, such a satanist. Oh. Dungeons and Dragons! Oh no! What the hell is this? This is a rule book for the board game Dungeons and Demons. If this isn't an indoctrination book, I don't know what is. I think that's all of them. I should just burn it in the furnace in the garage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry. Am I might taking the Lord's name in vain? Uh, this is actually reminding me of... Um, I mean, this is a longer story. I won't tell it before I do anything else, but... When I was in school, 7th grade, I think, 
Uh, Denmark does have like religion classes. Technically Christianity because you know we are a Christian nation. Uh, Protestant, I believe. So technically speaking, we're all Christian, but nobody really takes that seriously. But um, oh no, nope, we're back in the living room, kitchen. But um, my teacher once gave us like a test to see if we were satanic. She didn't believe in it. It was pretty much a joke. I'm afraid to go outside. What are their demons? <laughs> um, and it was like a list of 50... It was some church that had written a list of 50 signs your teenager might be satanic. And if five or more of them could be checked out, you should contact your pastor immediately. And they were things like, wears black t-shirts, request time alone, is occasionally sullen, like stuff like that. It was the funniest thing. I don't think a single person in my class had less than 28 of those. <laughs> it was amazing. All right, where's this furnace? There it is. Oh, here we go. Let's burn all this shit. No demons or metal music in my house. Burn, burn, burn. There's no place for Satan in my home. Now that the job is done, I can finally rest near the TV again. Another day done right. Ah, yes. Minimal effort to being a good person. Just ruin other people's property and lace by the TV, watching evangelicals preach to me. That's all it takes to be a decent person. Certainly nothing else. This is my ticket to heaven. Alright. In today's news, there was an event of great importance today. Jonathan Wassus <laughs> gave his inaugural speech in which he... Oh, well, I guess we're done. Oh, back to the Salvation Project. Hello. Hi, Seth. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Seth, and today's public service announcement is dedicated to... Energy consumption. Is that so? This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. So, as we previously stated, energy consumption is an extremely important issue. Certainly. However, we agree on that. Sometimes we have to ignore it to protect ourselves from the evils of the world. You lost me. As you all know, Satanism has started to rapidly grow in our communities. Sure has. Since our last program, many of our viewers relayed to us their successes of protecting their house from the devil's propaganda. By burning Dungeons and Dragons, which is the nerdiest, least dangerous thing your child could possibly be doing. But that is not enough. As Jeremiah 29:11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Don't that sound lovely? The devil comes at the devil's hour. But using science, our specialists discovered that the correct time of the devil's hour is 8 p.m. You gonna give us any context on that, or? The nope. The fears the light. <laughs> Even the smallest darkness can bring the devil. So we shall shine the light on it and bring safety to our homes. Okay. We implore you, turn on every light in your home until 8 p.m. and make your house safer. The devil shall not pass. So Be now we're just straight up ruining the climate. Care, All right. They will. What is that supposed to mean? This was a Salvation Project program. Until the next time, step out. I feel like that's one of those uh, one of those lines that only makes sense when we get to the end of the game. But all right, turn on every light. Got it. Oh no! It's almost 8 p.m. I should do something before it's too late. I have to turn on the lights in places where we sleep, so the devil does not invade us, invade us when we're not awake. But the corridors are equally important, so I should probably light them too. Let's light everything. There we go. Oh god, this is very bright. Help. <laughs> okay. And I mean, I, I guess I should just go room by room. I can't go outside. What are there demons out there? So. The garage too. Everything. Everything must be horribly nauseatingly bright. Yeah, I don't think these are energy-saving bulbs either. <laughs> sure don't seem like it. I don't really need to go to the bathroom. But what if the devil comes to you while you take a poo-poo? Don't need to go there right now. Okay, I guess we'll just have the devil in there. If, I mean, if, if you're comfortable with just inviting the devil into random rooms of your house, that's fine. That's up to you. I don't need to go there right now. Wow, a whole two rooms dedicated to the devil, huh? 
What a Karen you are. The Salvation Project won't like that. Oh. I should probably be gathering these, huh? They're probably like a secret. A little secrety secret. All right, let's see here. Uh, nope. I was just trying to go there. Oh my god. Well, I found two of those pictures, so... Uh-oh. Oh no! I think the power went out because of the overload. I should go down to the garage and restart the power. Oh no. Oh, the devil's gonna come for me now. Here comes the devil. Here comes the devil. Oh no, it's the devil! <laughs> It's totally not potentially my husband also trying to fix the power. Well. Actually, while I'm here, I should look around for the last bit of that picture, shouldn't I? Could it be here? Oh, for some reason. Oh. No, I don't see it, so... Maybe it's in the living room. Maybe I didn't look close enough. I found one in the son's room and one in what I assume is my bedroom. So, yeah, okay. Let's just restart the power. I think I almost died. It was so dark and something definitely was in here. Good thing I managed to bring the light back to my house. I should go and rest. I'm just gonna quickly go check out the uh, main living room. Because I really actually do want to find those pictures, if at all possible. That lighter is gonna come into play at some point. Oh! Oh! I don't think I like the fact that you're in my house. I'd honestly prefer the devil. Well, hello there, missus. I believe you found yourself in a bit of a situation. What? Why are you here? How did you get inside? Why? Mrs. this is an emergency. And a big one, I might say. I came here to help you get rid of the demons in your home. I see you've been watching my programs and following them. I did my best. Even if you're afraid of the nuclear war, it's not imminent and does not rely on your participation. However, this problem does. Satan is very much real and is nearing your home. Perhaps you noticed the signs already. What, like the giant scary figure that was walking around in the dark? The lights, your son's behavior, and however more that you don't notice. And I am here to help you with the protection of your home. Is that so? Okay, but why me? Isn't everyone in danger? Why help me in particular? Silly, I am helping everyone. I've already helped countless people, and you are just another lucky child of God who gets the special treatment. But hush now. It was hard for your nerves today already. Go to sleep now. I will guard it with my life. After you wake up, guard what with your life? To be done. You didn't say guard you with my life. Huh. Well, this got weird fast. Welcome, everyone. My name is Seth. And today's public service announcement is dedicated to the signs of Satan in your house. <laughs> Yay! This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. As you should know, the devil is coming. And we should all be protecting ourselves and our loved ones from the devil. Certainly. Check your windows. Check your windows. Board them up. Board them up. Satan shall not pass. You're getting a little excited, Check buddy. Check your crosses. Make sure they are not inverted. Check your mirrors, cover them up. Satan shall not pass. Satan shall not pass. Okay, you need to calm the Be fuck down. Careful, because if you don't care, they will. What this does will that mean? Project program. Until next time, set out. I'm just waiting for him to turn demonic. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. So to speak. Oh god, he's what like breathing. Charmer, huh? Sure is an energetic fella, but he is right. 
You should get on your feet and start maybe check oh, your garage shit, for instruments and materials. You're bound to have something. I also remember you having a cross in here nearby, as well as a mirror in your room. So what are you waiting for? Go, go, go! Okay, well, I have to get the instruments and materials from the garage. Well, first, we gotta check the cross. <gasps> it's inverted! How did that happen? Oh my god! It was turned, just like you said. I should fix it immediately. Yay! <laughs> That's better. I need to find more rotated cross. I mean, sure. Should we turn on all the lights again? I don't know. I'm just doing random shit now. I really want to find the last bit of that picture. It's not like they were particularly hidden, so... Alright, I guess we should check, like, every room again. Just to make sure. Don't need to go there right now. God damn it. You never let me do anything fun. Well, garage it is. Okay, so where are the tools I need? There's the furnace. And here are tools. The hammer should do just fine. The nails are just the size I need to. Now I need to find the planks. They must be around here somewhere. Well, certainly. The question is where? In the furnace? <laughs> or I can use the chairs. Where would we keep the planks? I don't see any planks in the garage. Oh, well, here. What a fool I am. These planks should be enough to cover all the windows in the house. These are all the materials I'll need. I have to find all the windows. Okay, then. I mean, it's easiest to just start back in the kitchen, I guess. The kitchen, living room, whatever. Ah! Devil! I think it might be too late to board up the windows. Just, just a thought. Should I follow him? I don't need to go there right now. There are devils in there. All right, board it up. Six more to go. Jesus, that's a lot of windows. Four more to go. All right, and guess upstairs now, because I can't go in any other rooms apparently. But I want to go to the bathroom. I have poopies to poop. Okay, looking around for pieces of that pi Oh! There it is! Why can't I grab it? Let me grab that! Come on, I wanna- Maybe I have to turn on the lights first. Let me grab that! No, I want it! Damn it! Okay, I'll come back for you. If the game gives me an option. Let's board up the window here. Oh, and the, the mirrors. I need to cover this. There we go. What was that thing? What thing? I didn't see anything. It's not here? Man, I'm so upset about that picture. I want it though. Did I not? Ah! <laughs> Hi, buddy! Um, did I fuck up? Like, I was still... Oh! You are gone. That genuinely did make me jump. Like, I was not prepared for him just being there. My goodness. Oh, there we go. I got it. I don't know if that means anything yet, but I got it. Cool. I don't know why I couldn't grab it the other times, but... Don't need to go to the bathroom. Yes, you do! I demand that you go poopies. Alright, so... Board it up. And board it up. I don't know if there are any more mirrors. That's it for windows. 
Um, I've covered up one mirror, but wouldn't the bathrooms have mirrors? Shouldn't I be covering those? All right, I'm just gonna run through every room real quick for mirrors. Let's see. No mirrors in here. Oh! That was the last one. I think that's it. Now the house is impenetrable to demons. Too bad they're already in here. I think I should go and see Seth. I don't particularly like the fact that his name is Seth either. I feel like there's a connection there somewhere. I don't know for sure, but I just feel like I've heard the name Seth being used in certain evil contexts before. And no, I'm not talking about Family Guy. I see you have completed your mission. And most importantly, you are still alive. Indeed. I was attacked twice. How can you be so insensitive? I am not insensitive. I'm just doing my job. And my job is to keep you safe. You need to calm the fuck down. Mrs. You should not anger the one who gives you salvation. Oh, jeez. You should go to sleep. But I don't want to sleep. I need to understand. Go to sleep. Yeah. See, this is where blindly obeying orders gets you. Oh, music's getting distorted. Hey there, missus. Oh, now he's talking to me directly. That's not good. I see you're back again for the daily wisdom. You are under attack. Your life is under attack. Your soul is under attack. We have to go for the nuclear option. You have to call for help. Is that so? Luckily, our manager knows the correct ritual to summon a guardian angel for your home. Okay. Do it now. Do it now. I think I might know who the devil is in this and what kind of angel we're summoning. Oh, you blind, blind bitch. <laughs> Uh-oh. Focus now. Get the chalk and candles from storage. Lighter from the kitchen and don't forget the lighter. The storage room is right across the corridor. Then, and only then, get back to me. And we'll begin the ritual. Okay, then. Ooh, hello. Our lighter is over here. Oh, my goodness. The house is getting a little bit fucked up. So I take it this is storage. I haven't been in here. So I should look around for another picture piece, shouldn't I? This is a new place. There's the chalk. I don't see any new picture pieces. Oh, hold on. Oh, that's just because I'm moving too fast. Alright. There doesn't seem to be a picture piece in here, so may maybe I have... Oh, no! There it is! I hope that's all of them. I really want to see what that does. What that means. That's really interesting. Oh, oh I thought it was an item. Alright. I guess I have the chalk and, and the lighter, so... That should do it. That's it! Now draw the sacred pentagram and place the candles on the edges of the Forsaken Star. The I Lord mean, demands it! The Lord is coming! Can you really not hear what this dude is saying? Come on now. <laughs> yes! Yes! Now the time has come! Your soul will be ours! The Salvation Project, it is finally completed! The Holocaust <laughs> Hi! You naive witch, and succumb to the will of our dark lord! Somehow I feel like I should have seen this coming. Hi! You seem like a friendly fella. Oh! <laughs> oh! It is the phone! Why is it so tiny? Ma'am? Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? You stopped responding to my calls a week ago. Is everything okay? Do you take your medication daily? I need help. I want to see my family again. What? Huh. 
So, she had some kind of mental illness. Was she at home? Minding her own? So, so wait, oh, okay, it just turns itself off. So wait, did I get all the picture pieces? It didn't really tell me if I got all the picture pieces. Hold on, I'm, I'm investigating this real quick. Okay, I looked it up. There is another ending if you don't get all the, the pictures. So I got the good ending, where it apparently just turns out I'm delusional. Um, I'm not playing the whole thing again for the bad ending, but I think the bad ending is basically just implying it all was real. So... I'm not. I'm not doing that. It's it's a little it's a little long for that. But I really like this one. Um, whoever's voicing the frog, the Muppet, is really really good. So kudos to that. And the idea is just wonderful, you know, putting you in the shoes of like someone. I don't wanna. I don't wanna sound too mean about this for someone who's clearly suffering from a mental illness. But someone, someone naive and easily manipulated. It's it's just an interesting inversion to put you in the shoes of someone who who believes something so blatantly false. I don't know, I liked it. I feel like the two jump scares you get with Satan in the house should probably have been something else because like, now there's no surprise when you actually summon Satan at the end and it's just the same guy. I feel like those should have been different scares that are maybe not more subtle but not just him walking around. I don't know. I feel like that could have made things even more interesting. But I really like this one. Salvation Project. What a cool game. Good job. I love this.